Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to another day of Market Report. Part of by Mike Bjork. Today is Wednesday, hump day, February 18th. We got a few uh, data here uh, for on the economic calendar to go over today. We'll start off with the producer price index. This is the inflationary numbers on the wholesale side of things. Uh, they're important numbers, but not a high impact primarily because these, when the numbers go up on if, if inflation goes up, sometimes our costs go up in the inflationary or on the wholesale side of things. It doesn't always get passed on to consumer. So we look primarily at what the consumer does, uh, but we look to see if there's a trend primarily for um, the wholesale side of things. Uh, so basically, we had a pullback or you know a negative back in December of negative point three. Forecast is at negative a half and actually worsened by negative point eight. And this is all due to uh, the cost cut cut of cost basically on the energy and oil and stuff for gasoline, uh, for transportation and everything. Uh, housing starts uh, 1.06 million back in, in December and forecast came in at 1.07 it basically stayed at that primarily because of the weather back in the Midwest and East Coast it can't prevent them from going expanding further. Uh, we have industrial production for the month of January so back in December it was a pullback of negative 0.1 forecast was supposed to go up to 0.4 it did improve, but not as uh, as well as the forecast came in at 0.2 percent. And then on the other hand, we got the capacity utilization, uh, 79.7 back in December. It was supposed to go up, and uh, basically instead of going up, it went down at 79.4. Now the big one today, obviously, as you can see here, will be the FOMC minutes today. This will be released about 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and so. You expect some market volatility because the investors are going to be scanning through these and want to get some type of inclination as to um, possibility of uh, short if everybody was all on board on hiking short-term rates if they're going to hold off on there be patient with it they want to see who's all in favor of the change of language of to changing um, you know changing up to become patiently uh, in terms of uh, being patient in terms of the right hike and stuff so they want to see if everybody is all on board and come through there and get a better view as to, you know, is this a um, consensus consensus on the board or is this, you know, uh, Janet Yellen pushing her initiatives or how, how it's moving along? So they want to get a better inside a view of uh, of the the Fed mind, so to speak. So uh, expect a low volatility around 11 o'clock today. Uh, currently, the stock market's up a little bit, uh, and it's not so much the data, even though the data for the most part is not that great of news. Uh, it's more some optimism on Greece. There is uh, some rumors going around that maybe Greece might be uh, submitting a an extension to their um, uh, to their pay uh, to their payments basically. So their payments are due on February 28th, and they've been playing hardball basically, not asking for extension. Germany won't accept any discussion about the um, you know the debt payments and stuff until they've asked for extension. Uh, which will be approximately six months. So basically all this really does is just push uh, the issue of their payments and everything another six months. So we would probably be facing this if they do ask for extension. Uh, basically in, Ju uh, in July we'll be facing this probably s same thing again um, uh, for the time for the time being. So this is a, uh, we'll see because they've been kind of threatening that they're not going to and you know uh, they've been kind of playing harp on their side. So you got two sides are being very um, adamant about their stance, and so it's been kind of like a chicken, so to speak, and see who quits the first. So we'll kind of have to wait and see, uh, but this is expected to be out later today. Uh, we might hear if there isn't a re uh, request for extension, you could probably expect the stock markets to pull back quite a bit today. As a result, yesterday we had, uh, we're up a little bit today, but uh, yesterday we did uh, have the pricing for the worst. So as you can see, we had a pretty big drop again. So we've uh, had pricing for the worst yesterday. So we were up about 101, I think it was like 101.17 yesterday and it dropped down to just, just over 101. So we had dropped about 10 to 11 basis points yesterday during the daytime. So uh, today it's up a little bit. We'll see where it goes. Um, it's hard to say because FOMC minutes will be released. That could, that's going to be a big factor as well as um, you know the Greece as we mentioned I uh, expected the Greece is going to ask for that extension if they don't do it you know they may this could help uh, bond market okay folks you hey, have a wonderful day uh, we kind of spent a lot of time on this today and uh, also um, be happy uh, for those who are first-time home buyers you know or even people who want to look for properties um, 
with just three percent down. Freddie Mac will be coming out their version with what Franny may already did, but they're not going to limit to just first-time home bars. So that's going to be the good news. Uh, coming in March, Freddie Mac will be coming out with their version of the three percent down payment, and it's not going to be limited to just first-time home bars. So uh, if you guys ever need any pre-approvals or talk about uh, refinance, just give me a ring. Talk to you later. Bye bye.